there's a new addition to the shaky hand stable underneath that cover. This week we're gonna have a look at the new purchase. So this is a uh, an addition to the fleet that was kind of unexpected. Um, sometimes you get a deal and you just can't turn it down. So yeah, do I need it? No, uh, not right now, but I definitely will. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, my name's Rick, I'm 62 years old. I ride my bicycle full-time in London, Ontario. Um, right now I'm riding a Rise RX Pro. Uh, it's just under 15,000 kilometers on that. Let's have a look at the uh, the new addition to the fleet. So this is the same bike that messed up my motor um, in September. Um, this particular bike I had an issue. There was an issue with the motor. So basically I purchased my motor from Rise. Uh, my neighbor purchased his motor from Alibaba. Um, had an issue with it. Um, after maybe 500, 600 kilometers, uh, that motor died as well. So I've talked about the Papang M620 several times. Uh, this would be his third motor. Um, I'm on my fourth. So yeah, he gave up. He gave up. And this thing was just sitting here. So after my accident, I was kind of showing him the damage. He said, talked about, you know, scavenging for parts off his bike. And I just purchased the whole thing. So what I'm planning to do is to, uh, we're going to do a will it run on this thing. Um, I'm going to change the controller. So I just have to uh, purchase a controller uh, and they're available in the States, I guess. So I'll, uh, once I get my trip over with, we are going to refurbish this so that I can have one for uh, anyone who wants to come for a ride with me uh, can get the same experience I get. Hopefully. So there are a few issues with this bike. Um, the wiring definitely needs to be looked at. Uh, there is, did come with a new display which is a bonus. Um, I now own three of these plus the one that's on my bike. So there's a replaceable controller unit. And I think that's what's bigger than this one. But this thing is basically brand new. So we'll clean this thing up, uh, maybe change the rubber. And I guess you can tell like the tires are still new those are the original equipment tires so i've been through several sets of tires on mine so this thing has a i would say around 2,000 kilometers no more um, that motor uh, it doesn't even have 500 kilometers on it i bet so the gentleman went to start it no screen um, no nothing actually there was no power to the motor at all and that's typically a controller issue so what i did notice is how bent like my rack is <laughs> I looked at this one so we'll put change in some of these parts out but yeah we're going to uh, we'll do a e-bike will it run in the future so yeah that's a sneak peek at the new bike we're gonna have two of these bad boys which hopefully doesn't mean double trouble and given the history these things do, uh, these things do break. So maybe uh, when that one breaks, I'll be able to ride this one at the same time. So yeah, we'll wait and see. But the fleet grows. The trailer, she is completely done. And we'll do a tour of that as we uh, do a video on getting ready for the next big trip. So yeah, just a little sneak peek of a few things to come up. Uh, I know that uh, people like to see new things on these channels and you know i'm not in that position but tell you what i, I was looking at purchasing another battery uh, the second the day before this bike came for sale so uh, i've got a whole bike for basically the price of a battery and a uh, display unit. here we so. go we've got the new bike uh, look forward to doing a will it run on that and uh, yeah seeing what adventures i can get up to with my kid and uh, you know any of my friends that want to ride so yeah, I think it's going to be uh, very convenient, although it does take up a lot of room in my little shop. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for checking it out for those who stuck around this far. Um, looking forward to getting out on a trip in another couple weeks up north. Uh, 
So yeah, next video will be uh, probably trip preparation. So here we go. Thanks again. Please uh, feel free to comment, positive or negative. Uh, I do read and uh, respond to every comment and I appreciate everyone who uh, comes back week after week to this little channel. Uh, remember, uh, these videos are free and I'm just having fun. Take care.